Vietnam Our People Committee Chairman receives Ambassador of the Republic of France to Vietnam. APEC Finance Minister's meeting to take place from October 19 to 21st. Dallas receives more than 5.1 million tourist arrivals in nine months. Level intersection with total cost of $520 billion to be built in Da Nang. Welcome back to the RT News. On the afternoon of October the 9th, Da Nang People's Committee Chairman Hun Duc Thơ had a meeting with Ambassador Bertrand Lothelary of the Republic of France on his working visit to Da Nang City. Regarding the relations between Da Nang and France, Chairman Hun Duc Thơ said one of France's advantages was education and training, science and technology, and renewable energy. The city wished to raise cooperation with France, especially in these fields. At the eye attraction from France to Da Nang was still modest, in which there had been 20 France FDI projects with a total investment capital of 20 million USD. Da Nang has not built up many relations with localities in France. Ambassador Perton Lotharelli appreciated the warm reception of Da Nang's government and stated that France were looking forward to strengthening the cooperative relations with Da Nang. In the coming time, France would improve the operation of the French language center in Da Nang and would request the city to facilitate procedures for opening a French international school here. France would also consider the second phase sponsorship for the city via French Development Agency in Vietnam and Da Nang Investment and Development Fund, moreover, play a bridge to introduce French enterprises to invest in the city. The management board of Da Nang Industrial Parts and Export Processing Zones has just held a meeting with businesses on the occasion of the Vietnamese Entrepreneurs' Day. There was an opportunity for the management board to listen to the opinion of businesses in order to timely solve their difficulties and obstacles. The meeting offered a chance for a management board of Da Nang Industrial Parts and Export Processing Zones to listen to enterprises' points of view, whereby timely solving their difficulties as well as providing them information as well as providing them information related to the city's support policies. At the meeting, the unit also informed the general situation of industrial parts in Da Nang and the orientation for planning and development local industrial parts in the time to come. Currently, the management board of Da Nang industrial parts and export processing zones gather all the necessary information for enterprises, including their preferential policies and loans. Under the plan by 2020, all the administrative procedures will be done online. Therefore, the consensus and cooperation among the businesses are essential. Let's look at some APEC-related news. According to the information announced in the press conference held by the Ministry of Finance on October the 9th afternoon, in 2017, Vietnam is honored to be the host of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation APEC event. Accordingly, the Ministry of Finance is assigned to chair the APEC Finance Minister's meeting 2017. The APEC Finance Minister's meeting will welcome about 300 international and domestic participants. At the summit, APEC Finance Ministers will discuss global and regional macroeconomic and financial development, while reviewing financial cooperation process as well as discussing other issues of concern. In addition, APEC Minister will hold a dialogue section with the APEC Business Advisory Council ABAC, and senior leaders from a number of large enterprises in the region. The results of cooperation in four priority areas will be reported to the ministers on October the 21st. On this basis, the ministers will issue a joint statement expressing their views on the issues related to regional finance cooperation, the priority cooperation topics in the year and orientation for the APEC finance ministers process in the coming time. On the verge of APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017 taking place in Da Nang in November, the Ministry of Information and Communication has recommended IT and telecommunication enterprises to grasp this opportunity, approaching the latest trends for international integration. According to the Ministry of Information and Communication, 
In the RT sector, except a few cases related to national security and defense, social safety and order, and environmental protection, Vietnam will commit to fully open to foreign investors. Therefore, in the coming time, digital content and e-commerce are promising sectors that will integrate more profoundly into global trends. As a result of this process of integration, it is forecast that revenue from telecommunication and IT markets, especially in the postal service, will increase several fold. According to the Municipal Department of Foreign Affairs, so far, the logistics services for the APAC Economic Leaders Week 2017 and related meeting have been basically completed. After the two advance visits, the APAC delegation spoke highly of the preparatory work of Danang City. Since July, there have been two advance visits of the high-ranking leaders, the delegations from the 21 APAC members' economies, who will attend the APAC Economic Leaders Week and the APAC International Secretariat, with over 500 people to the Dalek City. They have been carried out on-site inspections of the facilities, reception scenarios, logistics, security, health care, etc. of the host country. After each advance visit, the scenarios for the APAC events has been more complete and standardized. To effectively serve the work of welcoming and escorting delegations participating in the APAC Economic Leaders Week 2017 in Da Nang, the Hanoi's Road and Railway Traffic Police Department assigned 100 more police officers to serve this event. In addition, cars and motorcycles of latest models are also added to the motorcade. According to the city's Department of Tourism, in the first nine months of the year, the total number of visitors to Da Nang was estimated at 5.1 million, up by 22.7% over the same period of last year, reaching 81.7% of the year's planned. Particularly, the number of the international visitors were estimated at over 1.7 million, and the total number of the domestic visitors were estimated at 3.4 million. Also, in the first nine months of the year, the Danak Department of Tourism established 11 inspection teams, conducted more than 150 inspections of travel activities, tour guides and accommodation facilities, detected and issued 93 decisions to impose fines totaling $763.7 million on the administrative violations. The Research Center for Environmental Protection of the University of Technology, University of Da Nang, held a workshop to kick off the project on reducing greenhouse gas emissions through changes in lifestyle towards electricity and water saving of households in Da Nang City. The workshop provided an overview on the impact of greenhouse gas emissions on the environment of Da Nang. The experts also made presentations and assessed the waste in power and water consumption among the local households. This helped to analyze and put forward solutions for effectively and reasonably saving electricity and water, contributing to improving the living conditions and creating a new lifestyle, which is more sustainable and environmentally friendly. This project is part of the UNEP's program on sustainable lifestyles and education, which is scheduled to run for one year and a half. The Da Nang People's Committee has just assigned the Department of Transport to lead and coordinate with the Municipal Department of Construction and relevant units to review the static traffic system planning, of which the attention should be paid on building public parking lots in line with the actual needs as well as giving priority to allocating land for building the parking lot projects, we were approved. In the immediate future, the focus should be on the pilot implementation of a smart floating parking lot in 2018, of which giving priority to calling for investment under the public-private partnership PPP form. Dana has a plan to build a three-level intersection with a total cost of $520 billion in the western end of Trung Thich Lee Bridge. The project is scheduled to start in the first quarter of 2018. The top level is the 203-meter-long steel bridge. The ground level is a roundabout. The bottom level is a 750-meter-long underground tunnel connecting Yudong to Nuitan Streets and Yudong to Badang Streets. The city's Department of Transport is collecting more experts' comments. The project aims to reduce traffic flows to the city center.
That's all we have for today's news. Please log on to dlt.danang.bn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye for now.